The search continues tonight for a missing Valley mom. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Jason Barry. And I'm Lindsay Reiser. Crews have already gone through 1,600 tons of debris in a landfill, and they could be sifting through more for several weeks. Chris Planab joins us live now to tell us more about the daunting task to find the body of the North Phoenix mom. Right, I sat down with a retired Phoenix police lieutenant who worked a case involving a landfill search for a missing boy some 20 years ago. He gives us an idea of the challenges the crews are facing. He describes this tedious process where heavy machinery removes the top layer of the landfill about eight inches and then sets it aside for crews to sift through. Those layers scraped off one at a time from a designated area of the landfill about the size of a football field. Christine Mustafa was last seen in May. So now several months later, Robinson says crews are most likely to only find bone if they find anything at all. You would certainly want to know what she was last seen wearing, but the chances of that still being put together after sitting in a landfill for any amount of time is very, very slim, mostly because of the gases that uh, when, when the matter decomposes, uh, lets out and it just uh, deteriorates everything. Robinson says there's a forensic pathologist likely on site, so when a bone is found, that person then checks it out to determine if it's from a human or not. Now, Christine Mustafa's boyfriend is sitting in jail accused of killing her. Phoenix police say they may spend up to nine weeks looking for clues in that SR-85 landfill. Live in the newsroom, Carissa Planel for Arizona's Family.